in my opinion, the biggest thing that blocks manifestation isn't if you're doing the wrong method or isn't if you're, you know, having a few negative thoughts each day. The biggest thing that blocks manifestations is Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or if you're brand new, welcome! On this channel we explore all kinds of things about personal development, spirituality and how to become the best version of you. In today's video we're going to be talking about beliefs, limiting beliefs most importantly. Let's be honest, we all have a story that we tell ourselves, a, a story of like oh, how I can't do this or I can do this or I can only do that much. I'd love to be able to do this, but I don't think I could ever do it. Where did we get these limitations from? Usually we inherited them. You know, if we come from a long line of, of people who have only ever earned X amount of money, then we grew up in that environment. Our parents basically told us, this is how the world works. This is the random sort of bracket of money that we are limited by and we can't earn any more than this. Just taking money as one example, obviously there's so many other areas in our life that also these rules apply to. And then we inherit those beliefs and end up living the same kind of quality life often as our parents and the generations before and the generations before. Or sometimes we see this pattern in relationships if we experience dysfunctional relationships or experience that men were like this or women were like that, then often we end up then recreating that pattern in our own lives as an adult. And also limiting beliefs can come from when we've been teased, when we've been bullied, when we've been criticized, when we've been verbally abused or physically abused. And as a result, we take these other people's opinions or other people's words, as empty and meaningless as those words might actually be, and often we then use those things as our blueprint rule book of how our life is supposed to pan out. What a load of b The biggest thing that blocks manifestations is not believing in yourself and not believing that a better quality of life is possible for someone like you. We often block our own blessings by not believing that we can have access to them. How many of you have ever experienced, maybe you, you have a friend or a family member or a significant other who you can see that they don't they don't see their potential, but you do see their potential. Comment below if you know of someone who you really care about, you really believe in them and you think, wow, if only she could see herself through my eyes, then she'd stop thinking she's ugly because I think she's so beautiful. Or then he would stop wasting time and procrastinating and missing out on opportunities and he would just go for it and become the superstar that he has the potential to be or whatever right? Those are two very obvious stereotypes there. We can switch them around. Genders are interchangeable here in that example. If you've ever felt that about someone else, then imagine if there was somebody else thinking the exact same thing about you. And what that means is that our perception of ourselves, and thereby that creates our limiting beliefs of what we do and don't allow ourselves to go and achieve or the blessing, the blessings, the blessings that we do or don't allow ourselves to go for, um, you know, or, or if we don't believe in something, then the self doubt kicks in and the self sabotage kicks in and we end up blocking that manifestation. All of that stuff could well be a total lie because if your limiting belief is here that, that I can only achieve this much and there's somebody else who sees you and they, they also have an opinion about what's possible for you and they might think your potential is up here. Which one is correct? Which one is incorrect? Actually, whichever one you believe in will lead to the results that you go out and manifest. There's no right or wrong. They could both be right, they could both be wrong, but whichever one we choose, the, whichever story we choose to tell ourselves is what we will allow ourselves to live.
It's like, do you want to move into a house with a really low ceiling or do you want to move into a house with the highest, most beautiful open air ceiling possible? It's just, it's just your choice. Easier said than done, I know. So if you're still with me on this, if this, if you're getting where I'm coming from with this, if this is helping you to maybe look at some hard fixed beliefs that you might have about yourself, about what's possible for you, what's not possible for you, whether someone like you would be able to have an amazing relationship where they treat you with respect, or someone like you would be able to be a millionaire. Like if you're looking at beliefs in your mind where you think, nope, I can't, nope, I can't, nope, I can't. That doesn't have to be reality. It's a story and we could change the story. We could borrow someone else's eyes to look at ourselves from that perspective instead of this current perspective. And what if that could change everything? I wrote here in my journal, whenever I get an inspired download, I wrote here, our perception of ourselves and what we are capable of can be highly inaccurate. But if it's our limiting belief, it holds us back. Borrow the eyes of someone who believes in you. Borrow my eyes. I believe in you. And create your life. And go for your dreams. But how, Lucy? But how do I do it? My whole life I've been thinking this and everyone else around me thinks it. How do I change it? A belief is simply a thought that you continuously say to yourself again and again and again and affirmations may be something that you've practiced a lot of or maybe something that you've only ever dipped your toe into or some of you might be like ah for what but basically affirmations are you affirming to yourself something that is positive something that's empowering something that agrees with the life that you actually want something that would be classified as an unlimited belief a, a belief that you are, have unlimited potential. And when you repeatedly say affirmations to yourself and not just say, but think about them and feel them, then actually in the early days, it will feel unnatural. In the early days, the rest of your brain will be going, but this doesn't fit in with what we believe in. But remember, it's just because our belief is something that we're more familiar with because it's a thought that we've thought more frequently. And so as you repeat those affirmations, the affirmations will become more and more and more familiar. And those limiting beliefs will start to break down like prison walls breaking down from around us. And eventually with repetition, repetition is the most powerful way in my opinion, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I believe that repetition is one of the most powerful ways to reprogram the mind. In fact, repetition is probably what programmed our mind in the first place. Repetition and like, you know, one-off traumas that really stuck with us. But repetition is also a really powerful way to reprogram that mind. So you could either be somebody who watches this video and goes, okay, that's nice. I kind of got something from it. I'm going to like the video and move on and, and watch another video and watch another video and just be in a binge watching scroll hole of watching YouTube videos and not take action. Or you could be somebody who goes, right, I think I potentially just found the key to how I can start telling myself a different story and, and, and saturate my mind with a new story that's all about me being able to and me being worthy of and me deserving to because heck, I've just been telling myself another story and that story's hardly been serving me too well if it is a limiting belief. So some of you will just take this video, watch it and not do anything with it. But some of you will write these affirmations down and say it to yourself more than you say anything else to yourself. And just like a referendum, just like an election, the party that gets the most votes will win. So are you going to allow, I'm speaking to you assuming that this is your situation, right? But are you going to allow the negative party to win another election in your mind? Or are you going to get enough votes for the positive party? As in, think enough thoughts, feel enough positive, not just positive, like, yay, being happy all the time, but being on your own side, empowering yourself, telling yourself a story that agrees with the life that you actually really want. What if you gave that story more of the votes than giving the other story 
more of the votes. One of my mentors is all about, he talks a lot about changing his mindset to change his life. In fact, he's come out with a book called Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. And I asked him one day, I was like, you know, how did you really do it? Because it's one thing to say, oh, you've got to change your mindset to change your life. But then like you wake up the next day and you just, life is so driven by habits, by our subconscious mind. The next thing you know, you're on autopilot, you're thinking the same way again, you're feeling the same way again, the old habits crop up, and here we are living another day with the same patterns. And he said that he really, really went for it, like that from morning till night, he had audiobooks playing in his ear, The Power of Positive Thinking, The Power by Rhonda Byrne, all of these audiobooks that were talking about the power of thought and where and he was saying out loud to himself affirmations and saying in his head affirmations all throughout the day when he was exercising when he was washing up the dishes when he was tidying and cleaning the house when he was walking from a to b he was flooding his mind with a new story so that it didn't even have a chance to think the old negative story. And sometimes if you're at that point in your life where you're like, enough already, I want to see a significant shift. And you're asking me, Lucy, how do you become a manifestation beast? Lucy, how do you manifest this? How do you manifest this? Guess what? It's the work. It's the, the real work. The inner work, the reprogramming your mind work, it's going to take work. It isn't just going to take binge watching a bunch of YouTube videos as much as I love you watching my channel. I'm actually really here to help you, not just to entertain you. So just in the same way as someone might read a book and put it down and not change their lives, or somebody might read a book and apply everything that book and get the change that they're looking for, I encourage you to make watching this video a worthwhile use of your time rather than it being a waste of your time. The only way that this video could be a worthwhile use of your time is if you go out and apply it and start telling yourself a new story all day, every day, forgiving yourself when the old habits pop up and going for it again the next day and doing whatever you can, affirmations everywhere, all over your house, in the shower, talking to yourself positively. It doesn't, who cares what other people think? You're changing your life and it might even inspire the people around you to change their lives too. So on that note, I love you. Comment below. What are the new things you're going to be telling yourself? I want to hear one affirmation. I want to see it in the comments. What's at least one new story of what you are capable of and what you are worthy of and what you do allow yourself to receive from now on. Comment in the chat what are these new stories you're going to be telling yourself and if you apply it consistently. I cannot wait to hear about the shifts that you start to experience in your life, in your manifestations, in the way that you think, in the way that you feel, and what you're attracting. I cannot wait to hear more breakthroughs from all of you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss another video and so that you can be part of my manifestation to reach 100 thousand subscribers thank you so much love you and until next time bye bye